Franchise mode is one of the game modes that's been seemingly left in the dust by San Diego Studios, the developers of the MLB The Show series. They've been out here improving Diamond Dynasty, even making improvements to Road to the Show, but it feels like it's been ages since they've touched franchise mode. And with every new installment in the series, comes the high hopes and expectations that this is finally the year that they go ahead and make improvements to the franchise mode itself. And that's what we'll be discussing in this wishlist right here, the main things that they need to do to make franchise mode much better. Now we're gonna open things up by focusing on a feature that they actually removed two years ago, and have yet to put back in the game, and that's online franchise. Now, even though this would be a case of addition via subtraction, when online franchise was actually in the game, it really wasn't that good. It was glitchy, it was buggy, the UI was terrible, and actually getting one of these things to work with your friends was a huge pain in the ass. So hopefully with the little two year break this game mode's had, they could put it back into MLB The Show 20 and have it be better than ever. You know, even if it's similar to how Madden's online franchises work, or their connected franchises, whatever you want to call it, that would be a massive new feature in the MLB The Show series, because they've really never had a stable online franchise mode. And being able to run a franchise mode with some of your buddies opens up the door to new possibilities, and so many more ways to have fun and simulate the baseball season. So while I think that one right there is kind of a given that it will be back soon, the next thing we're going to be talking about isn't exactly a given at all, and that's Stadium Creator, which is something that the fans of the series have been clamoring for for years, ever since the game got put on next gen, because Stadium Creator would be a first for MLB The Show franchise game mode, and would allow so much more creativity and personality for your franchises, and it could work in two different ways. You could have a current team stay in their same location, but they have a really crappy old stadium. So you could be able to upgrade the old stadium by adding new features in the stadium creator, or just go ahead and create a whole new one. On the flip side of things, they could also have it where you relocate a team, which would also be a new feature for franchise in this series, where you could take a team that struggles with attendance like the Tampa Bay Rays, relocate them to a city like Montreal, and then you construct your own personalized stadium. Now, this relocation aspect, you can combine elements from Diamond Dynasty, such as the uniform creation, and then this new stadium creator mode, to make your own franchise that no one else could replicate unless they try to, and it would give franchise just a nice personal touch that would separate it from other sports games. Now, I know these are both very big features, and it's unlikely to see them both happen in the same year, but if these two things did happen, we would see a huge improvement in the quality of franchise. So now with that big stuff out of the way, we're going to move on to some smaller things, some small improvements that I think would just make everyone's life a lot better and easier. And we're going to be starting off this conversation with player progression. Now the way that players progress in MLB The Show's franchise mode is pretty much just a complete unknown. I mean, they have a potential indicator, but that always doesn't work out. You could have a guy with A potential stay at a 67 overall his whole career, but you could have guys with C potentials turning into 80 plus overalls. So it doesn't make a lot of sense at all. No one really knows how the system works. There's no way to gain an advantage. There's no way to study it, understand it. It's all kind of one big crapshoot. So I think San Diego Studios better defining this in future installments would make franchise a lot better so you know certain things to look for in a player. And while we're on the topic of looking for players, scouting. Oh my god, scouting is terrible in this game. When you look at Madden's franchise mode, and you look at their scouting system, it is so, so simple to understand, so easy to navigate, so easy to operate, and then you look at MLB The Show's scouting system, and it's just the ugliest, most confusing thing I've probably ever seen. This needs to change, it makes drafting just feel like a task, a chore, rather than something you need to do to improve your team. So just make it more like Madden, basically, at least in that direction. There's not much else I could say about the current state of scouting right now, other than it's terrible and I let the computer do it every single year. So please San Diego Studios, get on that one. And that brings us to a thing that's also very annoying in franchise, and that's tendering contracts. I can remember all the way back 10 years ago, this was still annoying to do, even in like MLB The Show 10, mainly because you have to go through every player and do it, and sometimes if you just let the CPU do it, they make mistakes and they don't bring back everyone you want, 
So it's just a frustrating process. So if you can make this a little bit easier, a little bit less tedious, that would be great. And then we're gonna end off the video by talking a little bit about March to October, which has been one of my absolute favorite additions to MLB The Show in years. I love this game mode. I play it still all the time. And I think it's given franchise mode a breath of fresh life, a fresh air, whatever you wanna call it. And one way to further improve March to October would be to allow you to take over as historical teams and play out their season or use custom rosters. Now, if you take over historic teams, it could be like the 98 Yankees, the 2016 Cubs, shit, even the 27 Yankees, which would be a little bit harder to pull off. But you try to play their March to October and recreate the success they had, and I think it'd just be really cool to have in the game an opportunity to play with more players that you might not have ever used before and overall just a cool experience and there could be diamond dynasty rewards attached to these as well and as for custom rosters in march to october having rewards for these would be a little bit tougher because someone could just upload an all 99 overall team and absolutely steamroll the game mode on legend difficulty so that wouldn't exactly work but just allowing the option of using custom rosters, no rewards, no nothing, would be fun to do. As you could throw it back with some old teams, some old players, and just switch up the experience a little bit. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comment section below what do you want to see added to franchise mode in MLB The Show 20. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.